This Belgian artist has really gone to the dogs. He takes old portraits and replaces the faces with dogs' heads. That's how a Doberman came to be a general and a poodle an 18th century countess. His parents saw him as a doctor or a lawyer. Harry Poncelet became an artist and picture restorer. But restoring so many 18th and 19th century portraits made him itch to put some fun into the aristocrats and soldiers who looked so bored on canvas. So, as well as brightening them up, he gave them a new lease on life. A dog and a man's shoes. A nod, a wink, and a bit of a joke. Not a revolutionary idea, certainly. Putting animals into human garb has been done before by Walt Disney and even old Aesop in ancient Greece. But Terry Ponsolet stands out by his extraordinary ability to highlight similarities between humans and animals. When you're choosing an animal's head to go well on a human body, above all, you have to let its sensitivity come through. So first I thought of an animal like this, quite a big one. He looks like someone who's seen life. But it's in the same axis as the body, and he's too sad. No get up and go, so he's out. This one's better, because there's a slight turn, the dog is looking away, and that can be funny. But the body is too thin for a bulldog's head, so finally I plumped for this portal's head. It's distinguished, a little pretentious, and facing the right way, I think that's fine. It's a perilous exercise, but Terry Ponsolet never falls into the trap of caricature or vulgarity. The animals are handsome and friendly, even though slightly mocking, particularly when they ape pretentious and distinguished poses. In fact, you begin to wonder whether the animal portraits are not more human than the rigid faces of our forebears. But in his works, the Belgian painter demonstrates that dogs like humans have a social hierarchy. Some dogs are more distinguished looking than others. Look at this magistrate, a setter. The setter is a very distinguished dog with lots of class, quite aristocratic in fact. This one is less so, much more working class, more your street urchin type. I mean, he's a Jack Russell, he's lots of fun, but he hasn't much class. Terry Ponsolet is now the talk of the art galleries and everybody wants a portrait. The idea is sensational and so is the execution. I don't like all the pictures in the same way, but they are all interesting and all brilliantly done. I have a Rottweiler and I'd love to see him in one of these pictures, maybe as a cardinal or Queen Christina of Sweden or Catherine the Great, because my dog has character and even better, an enormously expressive face. Ancelot's extraordinary pictures sell like hotcakes. Most of the great royal families are said to have at least one cooking quite a snook at convention. If I thought it was sacrilegious, I wouldn't do it. They said it was provocative, but I don't mean to provoke anyone. It's really just something that amuses me, and I think I do it because it's so beautiful.